say that show some experience with your study so person says i need to hide my degree or i need to hide my experience why because we cannot do two things together where it's written the rule is you can know you can do both the things together and you can claim in pr you can claim the points for that as well and it is written on the website of canadian government so you need to see where you need to follow rule and where you need to follow norms so you need to have good understanding of everything where you need to do what where you need to do, uh, take calculated uh, risk and how you how you should apply for your visa and this argument is quite common where i say that okay show the, show the entire experience what's the problem in that if you are studying and working as well what's the problem in that you can do it and let me give you an example in uh, uh, i completed my mtech it was in evening uh, it was in saturday sunday weekends so mtech was integrated and we were taking classes on weekends so we used to go to uh, classes for weekends and that time i could be working as well what's the problem in that and if my classes on our own uh, weekend i have full week spare with me during that time i could be working full time and people have done it as well uh, from my diploma college my teachers that time in diploma who were my teachers they were doing their masters from mm university mulana uh, that was a regular masters but classes were on weekend and they were doing full time study and full time uh, job as well what's the problem in that it is allowed in kushetra university there are weekend classes and most of the people are government employees they do their job and they do their, uh, do their study from 5 to 8 every day they have six days of classes and they are doing full time job government job and classes as well full time study what's the problem in that so you need not to say anything about that even if it is full time study full time job everything is allowed both the things you can submit you can get visa with that you can get pr with that as well you can show both the things you can claim point for that as well it is allowed so it is a rule follow that and there is no problem with that uh there are so many myths like that where uh people think that uh, uh there may be a problem for with so and so things but many times most of the things i find that these are just myths spread it all over the places on whatsapp on uh, facebook and spread it by even uh, i have said the same thing to many of the many of my clients where they say that uh, my cousin is in uh, uh, canada and he is saying so and so thing and i found that this is completely it blew my mind it was like his cousin doesn't even want him to travel to canada it happens that as well so stay away from from your relatives who are kind of jealous of you and your friends who does, who don't want you to travel to canada and after following that wrong information you get negative result and submit application in, inappropriately get refusal and that is not a right uh, thing for you for your profile so just get this information before applying for your visa that is always beneficial for you always also even if you have made mistake still after that mistake uh, you can correct yourself it can take some time so just ask how it is going to be done it can be done. so you need to see uh, what kind of things you need to do uh, to correct yourself and to get your visa that is the appropriate way, way to uh, proceed uh, it's not the end of story even if you are age age is 31 32 35 40 even if you have made mistakes everything can can be corrected it can take some time you you may require to have some patience but if you want to go you will reach for sure you may require to uh, do a th- few things correctly and after that you can surely get your visa there is no problem with that thank you so much for watching this video till the end see you in next video